Millie's going to share something that she wrote in grade four. This was written for school. It's an assignment, and it is, and I'm not making this up, a how-to guide on how to take care of your pet kangaroo. Please welcome Millie to our stage. I'm just gonna read the back synopsis really quick. Um, this is a funny book. In an alternate reality, that instead of cats, dogs, hamsters, fish, gerbils, and bunnies, they keep things as pets, like kangaroos. <laughs> the title is Millie Winzinowicz's 10-Step Guide to Living with Your Kangaroo. <laughs> Step one, choosing your pet kangaroo. Do not choose the one that bounces too high and crashes its head on the top of the cage. Pick the one that thumps its foot at the sight of you and can play the banjo. <laughs> Do not get kangaroos in pairs or they will not sleep or eat and they will not live very long. Step two, naming your kangaroo. Do not name your kangaroo Boxer or Pounder. It will give it the idea that it has to be violent. Some good names for a kangaroo are Jumper, Jumpy, or Roo. Step three, Training your kangaroo. Do not train your kangaroo to jump on the trampoline or the couch. They will jump too high and you will have to get roof repairs if you do. A good thing to train them to do is to do ballet. Do not get him electric guitar lessons because then your kangaroo will want to start a band. Step four, buying presents for your kangaroo. Do not buy your kangaroo boxing gloves or a wrestling suit. <laughs> if you live in a place that has cold winters like Calgary, buy them a woolen mittens and a scarf. If you live in a hot place, buy them a nice hat and sunglasses. Step five, watching TV with your kangaroo. <laughs> Do not show them the movie Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> or boxing shows. They could pick up bad habits. They like to watch SpongeBob SquarePants on Nickelodeon. Step six, feeding your kangaroo. When you buy your kangaroo, don't forget to buy them prairie grass seeds. It is very important in their diet. Do not feed them people food more than once a week because it will probably give them a tummy ache. Step seven, grooming your kangaroo. Grooming your kangaroo is easy. They love to take baths but you have to make sure they have a life jacket and water wings. <laughs> also, it has to be a bubble bath or your kangaroo will be very hyper afterwards. <laughs> you should try to give them a bath before bed. Step eight, going to the vet with your kangaroo. When you go to the vet, if he's getting a shot, be sure to put a big colorful band-aid on where he got his shot and give him a big hug after it's all over. If he gets a normal checkup, be sure to get a special lollipop. It has to be orange with purple stripes. <laughs> they love that kind. <laughs> Taking your kangaroo to the movies. <laughs> Do not show the movies filmed in Australia. <laughs> or they will get homesick. <laughs> they like action-packed movies 
with no violence or swears. <laughs> They especially like movies that have a big surprise at the end. <laughs> Step 10, putting your kangaroo to bed. Make sure you read your kangaroo a bedtime story and kiss your kangaroo on the head before you turn off the light. Make sure you have a nightlight in the room where they sleep, or they will have a bad dream. Kangaroos like to sleep with the door closed. <laughs> It helps them to get to sleep. Make sure to pull up the covers all the way. They do not like to be cold at night. Thank you.